I would now like to invite Mr. Tan Sui Che, CEO of NTUC Income, to deliver his speech, please. Firstly, I want to thank our guest of honour, Senior Minister Mr. Go Chok Tong, for gracing this occasion. Our last income day was celebrated at the height of the financial crisis in October 2008, and it was different. We did not serve any alcohol. Our brothers from the unions advised me that my speech and our speeches would have gone down much better if there was alcohol. We listened, as we always do, so tonight we serve alcohol and hopefully my speech will be well received. <laughs> Senior Minister, I know you will not disapprove the, of the use of alcohol for a good cause. In February 2007, in a speech at the cricket club, you recounted on how you combine beer drinking with golf and you were able to double the donations from Standard Chartered Bank and the Asia Pacific Brewery. <laughs> At the Income Day celebrations in 2008, when Minister Mr. Taman Shaga Muratnam was our guest of honour, I proposed a theory that attending Income Day or income events was good for ministerial promotions. We looked at 38 years of income day attendance data and we were able to establish a significant statistical relationship between the attendance of ministers as guests of honour and, and a positive impact on their prospects of becoming a deputy prime minister or prime minister. <laughs> Senior Minister, you grace our 20th anniversary celebrations on the 17th of November 1990 as a Deputy Prime Minister. Eleven short days later, on the 28th of November, you were promoted to be the Prime Minister of Singapore. And as the Prime Minister, you again grace our 30th anniversary celebrations. In 2000, and four years later, you became the Senior Minister. Today, you grace our 40th anniversary celebrations as the Senior Minister. Your attendance tonight reminds us not only of the validity of the theory, but the immediacy of its predictive power. Another minister whose career supports my theory is none other than Dr. Tony Tan, who attended as the guest of honour at our 10th anniversary as a minister, and he was subsequently promoted to be Deputy Prime Minister. <laughs> Dr. Tony Tan, we particularly welcome you tonight as you were the Chairman of our Board of Trustees from 1980 to 1991, 11 important formative years for NTUC income. May I also take the opportunity to acknowledge the past chairman of our Board of Trustees and Board of Directors, all of whom I'm very proud to say are here tonight. Dr. Lee Boon Yang, Chairman, Board of Trustees, 1991 to 2002. Mr. Michael Wong Pak Chong, Chairman, Board of Directors, 1970 to 1977. <laughs> Mr. Bernard Chen, Chairman, Board of Directors, 1977 to 1990. <laughs> Mr. Ng Pok Tu, Chairman, Board of Directors, 1990 to 2005. <laughs> and last but not least, Mr. Go Chok Tong, who was the Chairman of our Board Directors for a brief five months in 1977. The late Dr. Go Gangstri was our first chairman from 1970 to 1980. May not be here with us tonight, but as my chairman said earlier, his core principles, his spirit, 
his legacy lives on in the largest social enterprise in Singapore, NTUC Income. So coming back to my theory, Brother Lim Sui Se, Ms. Lim Hui Hua, Mrs. Yi Fu Yushun, you are all ministers. I think it's safe to say that in choosing to attend the Income Day dinner tonight, you have made a wise choice. So let the word go from here and now to all ministers out there. When you receive an invitation from NTUC Income to be on a safe site, do accept. <laughs> However, may I just say, given that MAS is in full force tonight, that past performance of our assessment is not indicative of future performance. <laughs> our chairman, Mr Nkicho, pointed out in his speech earlier the importance of attracting developing and retaining the right talent. We have recruited a team of professional managers to drive the changes at NTUC Income. Many of the senior management team members who joined us over the last few years did so because NTUC Income had become an exciting place to work in and they want to be part of that and they want to make a difference. I speak on behalf of them that when we first joined, we found NTUC Income to be a very different corporate creature. Unlike the other places we had worked in, we were not told to maximise profits. We were told to maximise value for our customers. The key motivation of our founding shareholders, NTUC and the labour movement, is about making a difference for the ordinary and working people of Singapore, not to maximise dividends or shareholders' profits. To do well in the pursuit of commercial excellence is admirable, but in itself is insufficient for a social enterprise. This, I must say, created some dissonance and confusion for many of us initially. For me, this issue is of particular significance as we emerge from the global financial crisis. The financial crisis was caused partly by economic imbalances, imbalances but was certainly exacerbated by mis-selling, short-term drive for profits, greed of shareholders and executives, as well as blind faith in market mechanisms which often compromises the importance of long-term social good. Fundamental question must be asked about the raison d'etre of businesses as they are being asked now, and I believe will continue to be asked in the near future. We must rethink the role of markets, the role of businesses, and about our social obligations as businesses. Businesses must make social sense, as social enterprises must make business sense. My agenda as the CEO of NTUC Income, when I joined three years ago, was a relatively simple one. To professionalise the cooperative and to do well. To make sure that what we do is sustainable, and makes business sense. That was necessary because there were so many things to fix. The business was large and sound, and credit must go to my predecessor, Mr Tan Kin Lian, and his team, some of whom are here tonight. <clears throat> However, our distribution channels needed to be reinvigorated. Our IT systems had to be upgraded. Our financial positions strengthened. Our corporate governance and risk management standards had to be enhanced. And senior minister, let me assure you, when it comes to corporate governance and risk management, we benchmark against not the cooperatives, but the best financial institutions. When it comes to doing good, we will benchmark against the cooperatives. I also saw how our brand needed badly needed to be repositioned to appeal to a new generation of Singaporeans. And above all, the people in NTUC income, income needed to feel re-energised, motivated and proud again. I believe we have achieved that. Today, there is certainly a spring in our step, in everything we do. Now, 
is an important time for NTUC income. This year is an important year for NTUC income. We spend a lot of time with NTUC, with Brother Suisse and his team, with our own board and amongst ourselves in rethinking, redefining our social purpose for modern Singapore and for the next five years. We believe we can make NTUC income the next Singapore icon, a modern and thriving social enterprise of distinction, which provides maximum value for our customers and to be an exemplary leader in best business and ethical practices. A social enterprise truly guided by what is best for its customers and a social enterprise which creates an impact and difference in the insurance industry. 